Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and in this GarageBand for iOS quick tip, I'm gonna show you how we can remove breath sounds in a lead vocal using volume automation. So, let's go. Okay, so here we are, I'm in the mixing phase of my new song here called The Tree in GarageBand on the iPhone. And my lead vocal here, because I used a condenser microphone, there's a few parts where I'm singing and there's a few breaths that are really sticking out in the mix. So doing a bit of that sort of gasping breath between phrases. And what I wanna do is actually reduce that sound down because it doesn't sound great in the mix. I don't necessarily wanna remove it completely, but I wanna reduce it. So here's how we go about that. Firstly, let's just play this section and you'll hear what I'm talking about. Wondering when you'll come back to... So there you go, there's that big breath in there and I want to actually get rid of that. So what we can do, if you wanted to be really aggressive about this, we could tap on here into this section, we could split, then we could tap just before we come back in, we could split again, and then we could tap on here and delete. And that would completely remove that section and then we wouldn't hear that sound at all and that would sound like this. When you come back. And that's okay. A lot of people use that method. I tend to find that, that if you remove every breath from every phrase, by the end of the song, when I'm listening to a song like that, I feel like this is unnatural and I feel like I'm breathing for the singer. So I don't want to do that. Let's undo all of those changes. What I want to do is actually use volume automation. So you can see I've already got some automation on here by the fact that my little volume slider is yellow, but I'm going to tap here on the microphone and go to automation. And if you haven't used volume automation, I'm a big advocate for it. It is very cool. Probably one of the best features we have here in GarageBand on iOS. It's only been added in about two versions ago, but it's really, really cool. So we can use this to reduce the sound of this breath. We're going to turn on our automation points. Now let's zoom as far in as we can so that we can find here. And you can see this little spot here where that gasping breath is. So what we want to do is create a point just before that and then I use usually four points to do this. And the reason I do that is that I can actually, if we tap, it's a little bit fiddly. What we can do now is we can actually pull down, not, not by doing that, we'll undo that. <laughs> so we've added, undo again. We've added our four points. We're going to now turn off the ability to put points. So that top left section is where you can actually add points or that you take it off to actually move them. And now what I can do is I can grab this section in here and actually drop the whole section down so that what we're doing here is we've got a curve where the volume fades out, it sits at a level, it fades back in. And I find that's the most natural thing. You can do a triangle shape if you want to, which is just where it fades straight down, straight back up again. I find that having these four points gives you better control and a better sound. So what I'll do is first of all, let's look at this if I wanted to do a subtle change. So if I drop it down by say 11 dB here, let's come back and play this now and see what it sounds like. When you come back. So it definitely sounds better, but you can still hear it a little bit too present for my liking. So let's drop it now down to say about 20 dB under there. And now if we come back and play our vocal again. Wondering when you come back. And that might even be a little bit too missing there. So what about somewhere in between? And to do this, I'm actually tapping between these two dots. You can either drag a dot by tapping on that and moving the dot up and down or you can tap in between, sorry, let's do that again. You can either tap on a dot and move that so that the dot itself goes up and down like that. Let's undo that. Or you can actually tap on between two dots and move that up and down so we can create that sort of platform. So let's go to maybe minus 16 dB and see what this sounds like. Wondering when you come back. Yeah, that's about right. So you can, you can make it out. You don't get that feeling that it's just cut but it's definitely reduced that breath sound. And when we have that in the mix, it's going to give us a better sound there. And you can see very faintly those little automation lines sitting in there behind showing us that we've actually done that automation. So that is it, a simple but effective trick. And if you've ever had vocals that sound really breathy or you've got, you hit a mic stand or you're breathing between verses or between a chorus and a verse, this is a really good way to just reduce down the volume. You've still got that ambient noise, it's not completely gone, but you're removing that very
very distracting sound that might be sitting and ruining what is otherwise a really good mix. So I hope you found this useful and can use this in your next GarageBand project. If you've got comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video.